today. From Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. We'll see Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders taking on Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Las Vegas, Nevada. The atmosphere here, electric. No matter the venue, the home folks love their silver and black. They are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with the Philadelphia Eagles. And off we go from Las Vegas. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Here come the Eagles on offense, and it's Jalen Hurts at the controls in his second season now out of Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. They'll set up to throw. Left side here to Sanders. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up fourth down. And the punt team on now as this one's set away. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Raiders getting ready to go to work for the first time, and they're led by their quarterback in his eighth season now in silver and black, Derek Carr. And one of the things that I think that Derek Carr has really improved in doing since college, his ability to stay in the pocket, things swirling around him, find the right guy, and deliver the ball with accuracy. Derek Carr has great touch when he throws the football. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And some room to maneuver. And he will take this into enemy territory as he's out of bounds on the other side of midfield. 40 yards on the ground for him so far. You know, I have a pretty good friend, Charles Davis, who tells me that when he sees plays like that, strong runs to the right, reminds him of the 1960s Green Bay Packers. Boy, those were the days back when the fullback actually carried the ball as well as blocked. Then you had a halfback. You had pulling guards, guys who could get out and run. And you can hear the great coach saying it back then. So we get a seal here and a seal here, and we run this play right in the alley. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but contact and pass interference. And now where does the ball get placed? Yeah, at the one-yard line. One-yard line. They gave up excellent real estate. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Kenyon Drake taking it in from a yard out. And the Raiders have taken the early lead. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stump it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. Extra point by Carlson. Up and good. And it's now a 7 nothing game. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And 
and he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Back to throw here. This ball complete to Rager. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Now on second and 13, Hurts. And he'll get it down here to the 43. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. They'll run with Sanders. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Hurts with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. 11 more yards there. This methodical drive continues. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. They get this to Smith on the jet sweep. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith taking it in from the 20. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Well, we've talked about it before. You know, this jet sweep, something a lot of teams like to run nowadays. And this one winds up in the end zone. And it is all about creating different ways to get the ball in the hands of your playmakers. And wasn't it interesting that prior to this game, the head coach told us, I saw this sitting in my chair watching a Tuesday night college game and decided to implement it myself. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. And credit the tackle to Derek Barnett. Man open, that's Henry Ruggs. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. And they'll get this to Ruggs on the jet sweep. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 
Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. An excellent run there coming from out wide. And we used to consider these jet sweeps to be gadget plays or something a little bit unusual, right? But now most teams have some version of this play in their playbook. And I think it's a lot because of the receivers that are being developed nowadays. These guys look like running backs, even though they're playing out on the perimeter. Throwing on first down is Carr. Looking again for Waller, and he's got him again. Three yards the game there, second down. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. 49 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. And there's a typical run by Josh Jacobs, one where as a defender, you have to make a decision about how you approach him because he's awfully physical with the ball in his hands. 12 touchdowns on the ground last year after seven as a rookie, and he was a 1,000-yard rusher in each of his first two seasons. Wouldn't surprise me with enough touches, he could easily crack the 1,500-yard mark. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Carr. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one. Closed quickly. It helped force the incompletion. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Now a play fake. Carr. Eluding the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Carr can beat you in a lot of ways. The scramble there, a perfect example as he gets the first. Now that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up a first down and inside the five. And he's in. Touchdown, Raiders. Kenyon Drake with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Raiders have taken the lead. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Extra point by Carlson. Up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Burt sets up to throw it. And this is caught by Watkins. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to seven. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. And once again, this is Sanders. A gain of four on the play. And that'll make it third down. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And well done here. That one will kick out of bounds at about the eight-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. 
And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. The first down screen pass, good for five. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. High throw, but the catch is made. And they will get the first down here as they move into field goal range as well inside the 25. And this one is incomplete. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for the home run play to get them six points. They're hoping for a catch, maybe a call. But they figure they can at least get into field goal range with a completion. Flushed out right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? This time they stay on the ground. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. On play action, now Carr. Rolling to his left. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. The escapability in evidence there is that one. Good for 15 and a first. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. The final shot here before half for Carr. Steps away to his left. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. So we have reached halftime here in Vegas with the Raiders on top. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. The 71 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Car now to throw. Got an open man, it's Ruggs. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Throwing now is Carr. Flush to his right. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And he's brought down. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. To throw, it's Carr. 
And here is a leaping catch. He pulled it in. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Into the red zone, it's Carr. And he finds Waller in the end zone for a later touchdown. Darren Waller there to make the grab. And the Raiders take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Carlson down to add the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21 to 7. So that winds up a seven play drive all told. And it ends with a Las Vegas touchdown. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that leads you to bigger errors. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. It's caught by Sanders. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards and a first down for Philly. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Max Crosby in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts on the move to his left. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. So one quick, easy analysis about why they struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. And Sanders has got it complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That was no third and two. That was third and 16. But they get the conversion anyway. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. Second down and seven. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. And keep in mind, in addition to the two sacks that he now has, CD, he's also had a couple of quarterback hurries. He's been very disruptive. To put it mildly, and it reminds me of the time I asked an offensive tackle who struggled like this in a game. Is he said he was telling the coach, hey, what do you want me to do? This guy's just eating me alive. And the coach finally just looked at him and said, applaud. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Throwing his hurts. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. On second down, here's the option. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly right. Reads the play and makes sure he spills it for a small gain. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. They'll run with Sanders. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. A good pick up there, seven yards, and it's going to be second and goal now. 
Sanders again. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Miles Sanders punching it in from a yard away. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. They'll roll him out right. And now the ball's out. Carr lost it. Fumble. When that ball popped free, we could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone of the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on it. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. They run it with Jacobs. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. On second and 11 now, Carr completes this out left to Ruggs. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. And probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. Looking for Ruggs again, and he's got him again. And he'll wind up picking up about four, as that is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Well, not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. It's a jet sweep. This is Renfro. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation. And I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed. But the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. That one a back breaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. The Raiders likely going to get out of this with a victory as they take a knee. Car down to a knee, and that ought to just about do it. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn.
That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaud. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. Celebration time tonight on the Strip as we say so long from Las Vegas.